Hey there, welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I'm Nick, and in this character spotlight, we have what is arguably the absolute best character in the game, period. That is Neneka, and she specializes in wearing every freaking shade of pink there is. So Nanika, the every pink wearing thing, yeah, she's like a floaty magic elf character or whatever, but I'm going to go over her skills and you're probably going to realize fairly quickly why she is very likely the uh, most powerful, bestest character in this game. All right. Skill number one is Satellite Ray. It's an AoE damage attack with a small range. Basically, it's kind of like a swipe or whatever. It, it'll focus on one person and then like whatever characters are in that area that's the damage it'll do so if you know if there's three characters on the front line it's going to hit all three of those characters maybe even a back character it's it's like a splash but all the splash does a lot of damage it does hurt and it does a very very short slight stun i mean you're barely even going to notice it but you know I, I, like an interrupt almost instead of a stun her second skill is Instance Gem. It is a single target damage that causes some magic defense down. Now, the amount of magic defense down that it does, it's okay. It's like, there's if, if, if there's small, medium, and large, it's somewhere between small and medium. It's not a huge amount, but it's significant enough to cause a little bit of extra damage. Her EX skill is magic attack power increase i mean kind of go figure it's a magic elf it's going to be magic attack power and if she happens to be five stars that's going to get a big boost to it so even more att magic attack power her union burst is probably one of the most unique and also most powerful freaking ones that there is mirror mirror it creates a clone it's a clone of her and it also puts a field on the ground that increases magic attack power and causes a technique point increase the reason this is so powerful is, ooh, um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that when she's, like, poking stuff. That, that combat's probably not going to last long. Uh, she does not have any kind of six star, so five star cap, and no special equipment. Once again, Prefest got your character. Most of them, I don't think, actually, I don't think any Prefest characters go to six star. Some have weapons, but not many of them, it seems. All right, let's go uh, pew pew a couple of uh, stupid things so I can get a spear or two. Eventually, I'm going to get a spear. It's just, you know, just saying. Nidica, here we go. She's probably going to just destroy these things. That's just what I'm guessing. All right. Now, Nidica. Oh my god. In terms of magic attack power, I think she's like Cap right or like one away from having the most magic attack power something like that there's her clone ability okay that clone is so freaking powerful because she literally makes a clone of herself literally it does all the same attacks again it has the same amount of hit points same magic power magic damage can be buffed can be it can it can act as you know like a decoy almost so other characters, you know, you have to attack that before you get to her if they're single target, okay? So it's all, in a way, it kind of has a defense mechanism, too. And, you know, her skills are already, Jesus. <laughs> her skills are already crazy. Her magic attack power is already really high. And all of a sudden, now you got two Nanakas on the, on the team. It's, it's literally like you only have five members in your team. That goes off. All of a sudden, you got six. And the sixth extra one is really freaking good. She is an awesome, awesome character. And here's the thing. She's widely regarded as the absolute best character in the game, period. Bar none. All right, because any kind of PvE stuff that you do, she is useful. Just about any group that she, you want to slap them in, even if the other four characters are all organized around, you know, physical damage, you just want her sitting in the back with some magic damage, you can do that. She really kicks everyone's behind in the arenas. She's good for the uh, Luna Towers. She's good for clan battles. Literally anything that you need to do, Nanaka has a place. She is incredibly, incredibly powerful and useful. The, the, the versatility of this character is off the charts. The damage she does is ridiculous. 
you know, I do bring up the Green Dragon uh, guide that I did in a in another video, and Nanika is part of my magic damage group, and Nanika tanks the Green Dragon using her clones. I, I yes, you in special circumstances, anyways, you can use her as a tank. It doesn't happen often. That's the only actually that's the only instance. So don't think of her, her as having that possibility. But maybe some people can get creative and do something else with her that I haven't done yet. Oh man, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. Once again, Prefest character, Nanaka. This one, I would have to say for every single player of Princess Connect in the world, Nanaka, hands down, is not just needed, is not just nice, it is an absolute freaking must. She, uh, she, she goes with all these groups. Like, literally, a lot of strategies you, you read. Any kind of thing that I'm going to put up. I mean, there's a good chance Nanika is going to be involved. So, yeah. Get her. Spend the money if you gotta. Even if you're free to play. She's worth it. Trust me. My God. We'll see you in the next video.